Crawl is now in theaters, and this is a story about a daughter who goes to visit her dad during a terrifying storm because he hasn't really been answering his phone, and she finds out that he's in trouble. There are alligators all around the house, and somehow these two must outmaneuver these alligators and survive. This is a movie that, based on the trailers, I was like, this could either be really fun or this could be really dumb. Turns out, you can eat your cake and also enjoy it. Or something like that, whatever the saying goes. Because this movie is dumb, but it's also a heck of a lot of fun. I had a blast with this movie. Um, this is what The Make should have been. This is what Sharknado should have been. This is a movie where you get to see Barry Pepper punch a shark. And I'm okay with that. In fact, I'm more than okay with it. This movie is great for that alone. Uh, this is a movie where you get to see a lot of people get eaten by alligators, which is always interesting. And they're gruesome, but it's also at the same time very thrilling because it gives you that heartbeat that's really elevated by the fact that it's very well choreographed, all these kill scenes. It's very well shot. Like It's both beautiful, but also very disgusting. And it's awesome. I love the way that it's shot. Sound design is also really cool. I kind of do wish that they did Dolby for this one because I do think the sound design was really good. Acting was pretty good as well. Um, you know, characters are really just kind of doing survival stuff. And when they're doing that, they're fine, I think. Um, it's also a very fast-paced movie. It's only 87 minutes. It goes by fast. Like, there's never really a moment where I'm like, oh, this is kind of boring. Um, but it's also a movie that when you take away all the schlock, because that's what this movie is, it's schlock. When you take away all the fun from the schlock and you kind of take a step back, this is a very flawed movie. It's not a five out of five star blockbuster. It's an entertaining one, and I'll get into that in my summary of the movie. But it's a movie that does have its fair share of flaws. Um, for instance, I, I really, do, I really do think that the way the alligators act, it just doesn't seem as though it's very logical, at least from the alligators' point of view. And there's just so many times with the script writers, and I think this just kind of is me having seen a lot, a lot of movies each year. I just kind of feel like the script writers kind of ran out of things. Well, not even ran out of, but you can literally see the wheels turning in the writers' heads with, okay, how do we get this movie to be feature length? And how do we get these characters to get in and out of situations and not be safe at all times? And on that level, they do it well. But at the same time, for me personally, they do it well because it's like, oh, I guess I can see that. I still personally can't help but see the wheels turning as to how they're doing it. And it just kind of feels a bit forced to me. I also do think that I mentioned how it's thrilling and how it's satisfying with the deaths and everything. I do stu still think, though, that the setup of how everything happens, like with how the father-daughter get situated in this house and how they are in danger i do kind of think it's a bit <sighs> too neat i guess is the word because I, I think i would have been completely fine if honestly like she just went to visit the dad or even she was just staying with the dad um you know the parents are divorced and then all that happens where he's like oh i gotta check on something and then she's like okay and then she hears noise and then it turns out he's trapped i think that would have been a better setup me personally I don't know. The way they set it up, it just kind of felt a bit forced. And again, it just comes down to the script for me. Did I have fun with this movie? Yes. Am I going to give it the same rating as The Meg? Yes. Although, here's the difference. The Meg is a movie that, in retrospect, I'm like, I probably should have given that a low rating. With this movie, I think it's a fine film. I think if you're going to see people punch alligators and to get eaten by alligators... You're going to have a blast with this movie. This is a movie you watched in a full theater with friends. If you're going to see it for that, you'll enjoy yourself. If you're going for logic or, you know, alligators actually doing things that alligators would do, don't watch this movie because you'll be disappointed. And that's why, nonetheless, I will be giving Crawl a 3 out of 5 star rating, which the, for those like a hot sauce rating, it's a good old Frank's hot sauce rating. Um, this was, uh, again, a rock-solid fun movie. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. And um, I do think that a lot of people will crawl to the theater to see this movie. All right, I got that bad pun out of the way. Guys, uh, let me know your thoughts on Crawl. Again, kind of a short review, but there's not much to say, <laughs> honestly, about it. It's a fun movie. Go see it. Uh, what are your thoughts, though, on this movie? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. 
about crawl and what's your favorite alligator movie comment section down below and as always don't forget the subscription notification bell and i'll uh, catch you guys